Midarashi didn't hear or didn't care and leapt straight toward the piglet, his fist out. He's just like, <sighs> Kiddo. Just as before, his opponent dodged easily and struck his weak point. Midarashi's health bar dropped again almost to zero, but you're mine now, bro. No, that's not a plan! Forcing himself to ignore the pain of the electric shock, Midarashi grabbed both of the piglet's arms. Just got him. He's gonna pull back, just God of War that piglet. Oh god. Yeah! He slammed his head into the surprised piglet's face. With a sickening crunch, it toppled to the ground unconscious. What the hell? Damn, dude! Sometimes you just gotta take the hit, you know? <laughs> showed him. That was using your head, man. Just like Shido said, as far as we could tell, a KO meant the piglet had lost, despite having a full health bar. Whoa! He didn't hit the star once and still won! I guess he did technically use his head. Thank you, Shido. Mirashi's movements were a little shaky as he made his way down off the stage and back to us. Good job there, buddy. Thanks. Be careful. One hit could knock some of you kids out. They hit pretty hard. Mitarashi, no! It's okay, he's gonna be fine. He'll come back around. He'd already collapsed on the floor unconscious. I ran over to him as the second piglet stepped up onto the stage. Who's going to go next? I'll do it. I've got pretty good reflexes and I've played this game. A lot. A lot. I should do alright. Oh yeah, we got a ringer in here. This is gonna be great. Not just about reflexes, Kauda. I can't let you do go. It's too dangerous. Excuse me, sorry. But he's Ares, right? I, th I think he can handle it. He's cool. He'll be fine. Good point, kid. He might be our best bet. Super looked over at me and I could see uncertainty in his eyes. What should I say? <laughs> should have Maybe Super should do it. You do it, kid. Whoa, hold on there, little lady. Aren't we a team here? I'm just going to drive a wedge between us at this last point. I don't even care. He is correct. We cannot hope to triumph if we do not trust one another to succeed. You're right. My apologies. Sorry, I should have trusted you, Mayoshi. He gave Mayoshi's shoulder an almost fatherly squeeze. You can do this. We believe in you. Yeah. Mayoshi climbed slowly up onto the stage. Okay, so nothing happened. Whatever. After he'd finished putting on his gloves and shin guards, another silhouette appeared on the screen. This time, the piglet's star was on his shoulder, and Mayoshi's was on his left leg. Fight! You can do it, Mayoshi. Piglet started to move immediately, its dancing, its feet dancing back and forth as it circled, but Mayoshi just stood there. Lashed out with a powerful kick, but Mayoshi dodged it easily, like he was just playing some sort of rhythm game. There it is, the ninja step! Apparently he'd named that particular step after watching Mayoshi dash down the corridor of hate on the first day. Oh, memories. The ninja step! Dang, this kid's cool! Piglet's body language became more agitated and it struck again and again, but Mayoshi dodged everyone with ease. His frustration clearly mounting, the piglet's attacks became more desperate until finally it left itself open. Mayoshi ducked in and tapped it on the shoulder. Boop! You're done. You're mine. Welcome to my web of hate. With a shudder, the piglet fell to the floor. Down! Health bar over the piglet's silhouette dropped by a third. It shook its head and moved to get up. But. Ho! Oh, the double tap! Son, you messed with the wrong kid here. Sorry, but no dice. Getting, getting in a hit on a downed opponent's a basic tactic. He lunged in, and before the piglet could scramble out of the way, touched the leg the star had moved to. K.O. That's over, guys. Dominated that fight. Gosh, they don't call you Ares for nothing. Didn't respond, just got back into the position, the final piglet climbed up onto the stage. Fight! Just before, Mayoshi's strikes and dodges were deft and well-timed. But perhaps because this piglet had seen what had happened to his compatriot, Mayoshi couldn't manage to land a single hit. It was looking like a stalemate until I noticed something. Wait, is Mayoshi kind of wavering? Is he tired out already? For real? Oh, Mayoshi. Oh, 
Mayoshi. The piglet chose that moment to throw out an almost lazy kick at Mayoshi's stomach. Heads down. Hey, I got you! Mayoshi bent over his stomach, and the piglet was wasting no time in reaching for the star on his shoulder. He dove to the side and rolled out of the way of the attack and right off the stage. Oh! Ring out! Oh dear! Well, we lost that one. I hope we have another chance. Damn it. He slammed a fist into the floor. Thanks to you, now we know how to beat them. You've earned a rest. Let me handle this one. He balled his hands into fists and glared at the piglet as he stepped out onto the stage. You can do it! Alright, we can do this. With a grunt, Subaru settled into a fighting stance. His opponent stepped in for an attack, but Subaru slid to the side and the piglet's fist flew past harmlessly. With minimal movements, he expertly avoided the next attack and the next. Holy crap, Cheeto's got moves. Whoa, that must be Kendo. Oh, okay. Tapped his forehead. Detectives have to learn either Kendo or Judo while they're at the academy. You must have chosen Kendo training. Oh, okay. There wasn't anything unnecessary in his movements. He didn't just have training. He was good. Yaw! He lunged skillfully forward through the piglet's guard. Delivered a hard chop to his neck. Okay, the star must have been on his neck and he just karate chopped him. Piglet stumbled back as the sound of electricity crackled through the air. Wait, did he just hit the star with a backhand after that chop? Star was not on his neck. <laughs> Cheeto just literally karate chopped a pig in the neck. Because sweet fuse, that's why. And then like, reflexively backhanded the star after the attack. I noticed something earlier. Everyone's trying to hit the star, which makes their moves predictable. It makes them easy to dodge. The piglet crumbled to the floor. K.O. That's how you win Sebastian Joust, too. Uh, you just karate chop your opponents in the neck with your open hand, and then you tap their controller, and you win. Common tactic. Classic. My goodness, so the combination of that blow to the neck and the electric shock was enough to render him unconscious. Subaru sighed and wiped the sweat from his forehead. Wow, well, that's one way of winning, I guess. Warriors Coliseum completed. The voice of the announcer echoed through the amphitheater. That was great. Mirage had recovered enough to throw Subaru a thumbs up. We should wait till Ryusei and Kota are back to full strength before we move on. Mm-hmm. Everyone agreed, but as we sat down, to the announcer began to speak again. Your band must split in twain to seek out the sacred blade. Those who accompany you shall be your sworn brothers. Your destiny is forever intertwined. Two doors at the back of the room opened. The implication was clear. The old divide and conquer, eh? Dollars to donuts, there'll be more tricks and traps, and we'll meet up again at some point, so how should we split up? I'd like you to come with me, Saki. Okay! We'll do it! I'll come with you, cute boy face, let's go! As I nodded, he re reached out and took a hold of my hand. Whoa, something going on here! Um... Why are you guys holding hands? Oh! Uh, it's, um... I mean, uh... We both let go extremely embarrassed, but it was too late. All eyes were on us. When on earth did you find the time to hook up? <laughs> I guess we're hooking up now. <sighs> Conducting some undercover operations, detective? Oh, Sharaba, you sly dog. <sighs> hey, hey, hold, hold on a minute there. <laughs> I think we're together. Yeah, I felt my heart flutter as I watched him try to explain what was going on. I mean... He never said anything about, oh gosh, but he, he didn't say no either. No, no, what am I thinking? There's no time to be worrying about whether he's my boyfriend or not. I squeezed my eyes shut, shook my head to clear it, but I must have been daydreaming longer than I thought because the groups had already been decided. <sighs> Subaru and Shirabe would go with me, and Midorashi, Wakazame, Yoshi, and Arabe would be the other team. Alright, see you at the end. Back at ya. Teams are decided.
We split up and head to our respective doors. Once through, we found ourselves in a pitch black hallway. This isn't good, I can't tell left from right in here. Just put your hand on the wall, we can follow it. Right. Oh! I felt Subaru's warm hand wrap around mine. Are you okay? His voice was quiet and close, I could almost feel his breath on my ear. I should say something. Everything's okay as long as I'm with you! I know how you feel, as long as you're with me I feel better. Keeping you safe helps me stay focused. Ah! I don't always, I don't do it for the heart bombs, but at the same time, it's very nice to have those. You know, I, I'm doing things okay. I felt his grip on my hand tighten. After a few more turns, we saw a dim light somewhere ahead. That must be the next game. Sure looks like it. Let's move. <sighs> Me and Shido are just gonna... <laughs> Could do forever. In front of us was a dimly lit stage from a large screen stretching across the middle. It's kind of creepy in here. There's another set of gloves and shin guards up on the stage. We were going to have to fight again? Knights of the Round Table, win Excalibur with strength and valor and control the world! The whole world. Looks just like the game earlier, but there's no opponent. Maybe they're hiding out there in the darkness? Oh, huh, well, might as well give this shot a give it a shot this time. No, I'll go. You're not cool enough. I'm cooler than you, and I will do it myself. I will be the hero. He held out a hand to stop Shirabe. Don't take this as me saying I don't think you can handle it, but I want to be a cool guy, and I want to be a hero, and I want to be the white knight that saves everyone, so nobody else gets to play but me. Ha! If I don't make it through, I know you can finish the job. Sure you weren't a general in a previous life? Sure, detective, you take point on this one. I got your back. Be careful, honey! As he stepped up onto the stage, the screen flickered to life, displaying an image of a piglet. On front of the piglet, though, was an image of Subaru's back. So I guess he'd be fighting through the monitor instead of in person this time. So this is like a Virtua Fighter kind of thing. Or Wii Boxing, even. Looks like it's connected to some sort of monitor sensor. Motion sensor, excuse me. Subaru settled into his fighting stance again, so we're doing the kind of connect thing. The whole game is the whole game is different. It doesn't even have the health bar or the stars, so it's a minimalist dis, uh, UI display. They've added a timer though. You have 600 units of time, seconds probably. So it's just the two figures and then 600, and that's it. Hmm. <sighs> The battle had begun, but the piglet didn't seem to be moving. What? Why isn't he doing anything? The timer's counting down. Subaru tried another chop at his opponent's neck, but the piglet dodged it easily. He pressed forward with his attack, but the figure on the screen avoided each strike with easy rhythmic steps. Then suddenly it attacked. Oh, Shido, no, 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 this guy's too hardcore for you. If he's too hardcore for Shido, I don't know how we're going to do this. And he's down. What the hell? Damn, does that mean that any hit gives you a shock? This could kill you. No, you can't! No, don't kill him! That'd be bad. That'd be very bad. The piglet wasn't waiting for Subaru to get up and lashed out with another attack. He dodged and then countered it with an attack of his own. Alright, so we're one for one. Down! Piglet's head snapped back and it fell to the floor. Wait, don't you feel like something's off here? Off? Yeah, I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but something's wrong, I know it. We're gonna need some intuition. Uh-oh. Looks sounds like they went one for one with blows. The time it took me to say that, both Subaru and the Piglet hit each other again. Subaru, what am I missing? There's something going on here. They're fighting over that screen, the health gauge is gone, and there's something about the way that Piglet moves. It's there, I almost got it. Alright, hit me up, Saki. 